Oh, yes. How cool is this? It's a little tractor. Oh, man. Driving around. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. Astroneer, we're messing around today. Uh, going to see about getting into some more stuff. Just trying to see what else we can kind of unlock and get into and kind of see around in our little world. So... There's dynamite, we can do a small printer, fireworks, we don't need fireworks, drills, <clears throat> uh, mods, all kinds of mods through there. Solar power, we might want to do some uh, running around and seeing what is actually around to kind of see and mess with. Uh, that could be a good bit of fun, but what I think I want to do, let's see, we've ran off this way, we've ran off that way. Do I have any compound currently? No, I don't. I just have this this resin, this like natural material here. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna put it down. I don't I don't want to carry it with me at the moment. Uh, but I want to get some compound so I can make some more tethers because I'd like to walk off in a couple more directions. I kind of want to look for some research stuff while we have power. I think that'll be relatively useful. Oh, what are these? Are these just like weird plants? Oh, wow. Okay, no, it had research underneath it. That's cool. All right. So I guess we'll head back and put this guy in the uh, in the research deal and see about getting some more um, some more research points to unlock some more stuff. All right. So we have a, a few tethers. I also found these seeds uh, that we can plant. They're bounce vines. Not really sure what they do, but we can hold F to... Oh, wait. Uh, let me get it out of my backpack. Put it on the ground. Put that away. And then we can hold F to plant. And I'm assuming it's now planted. Uh, never knew that there was stuff you could actually plant in this game. So that's actually really cool. Uh, that that is something that we can do. Uh, I did find some compound out here, and that's where we're kind of heading, is out into this little uh, cave here. There was some compound right here on the edge. Yeah, see, we've got some in there. And now this cave also goes, like, really far down, so I'm not 100% sure that I feel safe going down into it just yet. But we might do a little bit of exploring. I'd like to try and get some sort of vehicle today. Uh, that is kind of one of my goals, is to get a vehicle and see what we can kind of get into. But I'm going to go ahead and get some more compound, and we will be right back. Oh, looks like we found something pretty cool over here. Let's check this out. I've been just kind of looking at some of the little wreckage and whatnot. It looks like we got two wind turbines. And look, there's a medium one. We can carry that back. Let's get back over to our line. There really wasn't anything up on this one except for a little oxygen filter. But this one had this big wind turbine, which could be extremely useful, especially around here, because it seems like we almost always have wind. All right, so I think we're going to go ahead. Uh, we did some research. We got whatever bits we needed uh, for that. We've up to 654 bits that we can have. So that means we can unlock a beacon. Uh, we can unlock a solar panel, a wind turbine. Um, I don't think there's really much else. Small printer we already have unlocked. Fireworks we don't need. Dynamite we don't need. Uh, so that's that. We can go ahead and ignore that for the time being. Let's go ahead and take that off. And I want to put on the large printer. Uh, we don't need a shelter. Is that the only thing that this thing prints? Okay, I don't think we need that right now. Uh, let's grab this printer. Uh, let's go and, and actually put that one there. Large printer. Um, large platform A. I think we want a large platform A. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll grab a couple of resin. Put those uh, in there. And then we can go ahead and start it. So we can get another platform to start, like, building stuff on and doing some other stuff. 
because we're I think we're gonna need a couple of those I think I want one for the other large printer uh, I think I want one for the research station um, and then we've also got the small printer and I don't think the small printer really has anything it has a rover seat uh, though I'm not entirely sure what the rover seat is for let's go ahead and unpack that there we go all right let's just go ahead and set this right next to you we can hook it up very nice very nice indeed uh and i'm gonna just put that one there um can i get another one? Oh, I, yeah i should have plenty of stuff to get another one let's go ahead and do that very good and so our power situation is going okay uh, we could hook up some stuff in, in some different areas, but we don't really need to. Can I actually take this and put it right there? I mean, I guess it can be there. It doesn't really... Um... Oh, yeah, it's trying to print it there. So let's uh, actually pull that back out. Where'd it go? Where did the printer go? Oh, it's on top of my gun. <laughs> yeah, we'll just we'll just go ahead and put that there. So if if we need it, we can use it. All right, good stuff. Let's go ahead and unpack this one. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put it like that. Now it's not gonna line up perfectly, but I don't think we need anything quite... Um... Can you rotate these? There we go, yeah. Awesome, so that is able to print stuff for us if we needed it. Actually, is this going to be in the way? No, 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 we can totally print uh, with that if if necessary so uh, research we could do some more and I also I probably want to do just a little bit more anyway uh, oxygen filter not sure what that's for we got a small wind turbine we can go ahead and throw that on um, I've got my canister I've got a solar panel for myself looks like we're good to go do just a little bit more exploring and I think this time I want to head off the back here and kind of just see what's out here. So it looks like we have a lot of really big canyons around here. Uh, looks like a lot of them just kind of traverse all over the place, which is pretty cool. Uh, they are kind of, like I said, everywhere. So it's a little tough. Oh, what is that? Oh, we can scan these to get research samples. Nice. Okay, how many are we up to now? 782? Good. Uh, let me take my tethers. There we go. We'll bring them over this way. Since there seems to be stuff over here that we can get for research, this definitely seems like a cool spot to uh, start spreading out into just a little bit. Okay, here's another one. Another 37 bytes. There's another one. Good stuff. Check this out. Uh, are we out of tethers? Nope. We got one right there. Now we're out of tethers, so let's go ahead and make another one. Okay. Good. All right. Very nice. So, uh, there's a bunch of stuff kind of opening up to us, it looks like. I'm trying to figure out, like, one of the things that I'm really curious about is the the small tractor and i'm not really sure where that is in our research let's see was it over here splinter no nope. medium storage there it is tractor it's going to cost us a thousand bytes to get it in a trailer is going to be 1500 so i want to get that little tractor i want to see what it's about and how it is to make it. There's the tractor. We can go ahead and learn that. Perfect. So I'm going to check out what's over here real fast. Let's see. Power cells. Oh, no, no, no. Go ahead and just put that in my inventory. Debris. Looks like junk item too large to salvage. All right. All kinds of stuff in this area. It's just absolutely phenomenal. I love, I love this game. It's so much fun. All right, so now that we're over here, I think it's the small printer that allows us to craft a tractor. So we need two aluminum, 
and I'm assuming aluminum is, some, is something that is found underground. Um, so we might... Oh. Oh. I don't know what that did. I guess it just gave me some organic. Not really sure there. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, aluminum is something probably found underground. But there was a little something that I saw over here when we were exploring. Uh that I want to see if it is aluminum. Because if it is, it's a lot easier to find than uh, going down into a cave. But we might need to jump down into a cave regardless. All right, so I'm not entirely sure what this is. Let's see. It's We're in um, we're in rock, so it's, it's taking me... A, oh, it's graphite. Okay. So I'm not sure entirely. It's just this natural resource. Not sure what graphite is used for. We might as well go ahead. I mean, we're here. Let's go ahead and collect some. Uh, can I take this and put it... There we go. That works. So, yeah. I'll just start digging some of this up. Get some more graphite. At least a little bit. And then we're going to have to go find a cave to get some aluminum. All right. Down into this scary cave we go. want to see what we run into. What is that? It's, uh, oh, aluminum material. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted was aluminum material. Perfect. This could not have been any better. I mean, it could have been a little bit better. This could have been the other stuff that we found on the surface. But this is exactly what we needed. Now, it's super dark down here, so I want to make sure we don't lose our way. Okay. Okay. Now to try and get back up out of here. Oh, actually, because our oxygen is running very low because I did not think about oxygen when I decided to come down here. That was smart. I should have put some tethers down. Okay, come back over here. Ah, yes. Okay, good. So we have aluminum material, but that is also going to require us getting a smelter a smelting furnace here we go let's go ahead and unlock that and then where is the smelting furnace done does it say i don't know it's probably uh since it's in that second category it's probably the medium printer if i had to guess so let's see what we need for it uh there's another research thing if if need be all right medium printer a uh, large platform research chamber smelting furnace. So I need two resin. So that should be easy enough. I should have, yep, you there and you there. Okay. Let's go ahead and start the smelting furnace. And I'm just going to take that off, put it over there. Because I'm assuming the smelting furnace needs to go up there. And why is this thing printing like that? That's crazy. Why is it printing on the side? That's so strange. Why would it do that? That's really weird. All right. Uh, we got power going. There's no wind right now, of course, because why would there be wind? But let's see about getting that. There we go. Unpackage. Okay. And then we'll just rotate it a little bit. No, hey. Rotate the other way, man. Oh, you want to be facing that way. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's take this and this. And put it on, and we should get some aluminum here in just a few minutes. We're using up a ton of power right now. Just a ton of power. Let's grab some organic material, and that should help with our power production because of all the generators that I have in the back of our area. All right, the aluminum has been acquired. Let's go ahead and make our track. Oh, wait. Oh, is it because it's not hooked up to power? Oh, here, 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 here. We got this. This is all right. We're not hooked up to power at the moment, but now we are. Perfect. Medium printer, tractor. Very good. Let's print this little puppy up. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for a little tractor. This is going to be cool. All right. Grab it. Dun, 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 dun. It's almost done. Oh, unpack it. Brrr. Nice. Very nice. All right. Tractor, enter. It's got two little spots on the front, um, which I'm assuming is going to be good for 
power. So let's go ahead and get that thing hooked up. Um, it's gaining power. So now it's spreading it out. There we go. Enter. Oh, yes. How cool is this? It's a little tractor. Oh, man. Driving around. Oh, in the wind turbine on the front is going to be super helpful. And then I've also got a, a solar um, panel thing, too. And then so this this means honestly, this means we're going to need a trailer um, to get the trailer. Let's get off of here to get the trailer. We're going to need tra trailer is 1500 so we're only at 325 so we need a lot more so we're gonna need a trailer to kind of mess around with that thing and then we can kind of go on these longer range exploration missions and whatnot which i am definitely looking forward to i think that's going to be very cool so let's get some research done and then we'll come back once we can get uh, a tractor going how's that sound all right there we go we have 1537 bytes perfect Let's see about getting that trailer. Here we are. Now we've got that researched. I'm assuming that it's going to be on this just the same. And it's going to take a little bit more aluminum. So let's go grab some of that. All right. Not only did we get more aluminum, we also found some carbon and picked up this giant medium generator that um, I really have not used before. So this is going to be interesting to see how much power something like this outputs comparatively. Um, it looks like it's going to take up two slots like a lot of other stuff. So let's see. Uh, I guess the best place for me to put it would maybe to be right there. Yeah, just like so. And it requires carbon uh, produced by the smelting furnace. So I did get some of that, even though I don't feel like I need any at the moment. I did get some, so let's go ahead and put that there. Uh, we, oh, I'm, I'm short just a little bit of aluminum. I wanted to grab uh, two trailers, but it looks like I'm only going to be able to get one. And then let's go ahead and move this guy kind of out of the way. Just kind of want to turn him around. Yep, just like that. And then we've got our aluminum. Come back over here. Let's look at our trailer. Let's get it crafted. There we go. And voila, let's go ahead and unpack it. And there is our connection for our trailer. Now, it does not look like it's uh, close enough yet to hook it up. So let's get a little bit closer here. There we go. So now we can put some storage on this thing. We can put a drill on the front. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff we can do. We can even throw on that, that turbine. Um, I've, I've got a bunch of a, a bunch of things that we can do with this um, probably including but not limited to stuff like uh, this guy the medium storage it's already unlocked let's see is this um, is this crafted here medium storage it is two resin which I think we've used up all the resin that I had but that will be something that I get uh, in the next episode guys hopefully you've enjoyed. And like, uh, like seeing Astroneer again, I know I'm having a blast with it. It's a lot of fun. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.